Hey fourth graders, Miss Muldoon here. I just want to go over today's math lesson just to help you understand what you should be doing. So step one says you should be watching the Brain Pop video. So when you click on this, it's going to refer you to the Brain Pop page, but make sure you know the username and password because you need to plug that in when you're signing on. When you enter this page, you'll see a page just like this pop up. Uh, before you press play, they'll make you enter the password and the username. Watch the video. It's really, um, really easy to understand simplifying fractions and it's just a fun video. You're next going to go back to the page and step two says you're going to complete the practice on the Google Slides, which is right here. There is also a reference sheet in there for your um, understanding. So when I click on this, you're going to be brought to a page that looks just like this. I'll let it load. Now when you're looking at this page, I like to put my view in zoom and I like to put it in a little bit bigger. 50 is not big enough so you can play around with it to see what uh, works best for you. I like 100. Okay, now we have the simplifying fractions page, just like this. Okay, if I don't know what to do, I'm going to go to the next page, which is my reference sheet. Okay, so simplest form. How do I find simplest form? There's three steps. Step one, you list all the factors of both the numerator and the denominator. So I have eight here. I need to list my uh, factors for eight. I know one times eight and two times four gives me eight. Jump down to de the denominator. I have one times 10 and two times five. These are my factors for eight and 10. My step two is I find the greatest common factor that they share. Okay, so I look at eights uh, factors and tens factors. I notice the greatest number that they share is two. So what I do next is I'm going to take that number two and I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by this number, which is the greatest common factor. So I have eight tenths. I divide the top and the bottom. Eight divided by two is four. Ten, by, ten divided by two is five, leaving me with four fifths. This is how you solve your um, math problems for today. Next, I'm gonna go back to the sheet. I have an example here of how to do this. You notice that the box here isn't for everybody. There's two boxes in this one and you're just gonna put the answer in here. You might say, uh, how am I gonna solve this? You need to, I would go and get scrap paper. Scrap paper and a pencil and write it down. Okay, so look at, I have four tenths. My first job is to list my factors for four. I know that's one and four and two times two. I have to then list my factors for 10. I know I have one and 10, and I know I have two and five. I list them down on my notebook just like that. My next goal is to look at these numbers. What is the greatest number that they share in common? And I know that number is 2, so I'm going to circle it. I'm going to rewrite 4 tenths. And I'm going to divide the top and the bottom both by that number, which is 2. So it's going to look a lot like this. Next, I'm going to divide. 4 divided by 2. I need to think. 2 times what number gets me 4? And I know that is 2. 10 divided by 2. Hmm. I know that 2 times 5 gives me 10, so the answer must be 5. I'm done. My answer is 2 fifths. So what I do next is I take my 2 fifths. I go in here. Double, double tap 2. Double tap, five, two-fifths, and I move on to the next one. I hope this video helped you.